Women don't go to the bathroom alone. We think about our little packs and we joke. It's the way things are, but no one really knows why. It may be a stereotype, a generalization, oversimplification, but there's a story behind every norm, so why don't women go to the bathroom alone? Women don't go to the bathroom alone. I remember learning when I was five years old that men are a threat and you have little defense. Stick with a buddy and look straight ahead. So I start to do what I'm told and I try not to go to the bathroom alone. It's middle school and I don't know why, but I can't seem to get away from a certain guy. I'm a nice guy, he pleads, and in the same breath he says harsh words and insults that make me want death. He invades my space after I tell him no until someone else intervenes and said, Take a hint, man. Leave her alone. For now he will, but it's not the last time, so I refuse to go anywhere on my own. Fast forward to high school and I take the bus every day but Thursdays when I have a club and it's never scared me to walk alone until some guy starts to follow me home. I, I don't argue but in the inside I'm scared and I think he can tell so he does it anyway and when I politely inform him I'm gay his new favorite game becomes can he turn me straight as the school year comes to a close. I don't take the bus anymore, and my best friend's mom starts to drive me home. Women don't go to the bathroom alone, but we feel safer inside a home until someone you trust catches you on your own when you're sleeping. It's your most vulnerable, and now you curl up in your sister's room because you're afraid to sleep alone. And trans women don't go to the bathroom alone. We live in a world that writes laws based on what's under her clothes. People joke that they'll bring their guns in with them, but it's not funny knowing who's favored by the system. Don't tell me it's to protect women and children after rapists and pedophiles you knowingly vote in. I stand with trans sisters who are in more danger than me. Girls protecting girls so no one has to go to the bathroom alone. Sometimes women are alone. We download apps on our phone to hold down a button while we walk home, and if we let go without entering a passcode, the police know that something's happened while we were alone. We take self-defense classes, walk with our keys like claws, hold up signs and marches, hoping to change the laws. It's against every right to live in fear, so even if you are privileged enough not to, your work is not done here because no one is winning until all of us are winning. The future is female, cis, trans, non-binary, intersectional. We're finally having our day in court, but we all could be doing so much more. I'm sure by now you've realized it's not about pee, but feeling safe at home, in public, and in the streets. Just look at the doctrine drilled into society as a whole. It's no wonder women don't go to the bathroom alone. Hey, it's Liz, and April is National Poet- National? International? I don't know. It's Poetry Month somewhere in the world, and so I just wanted to share a feminist poem that I had written, and, you know, I figured, why not? So. Yeah, you will also notice in the description box that I did hashtag this creators for change because, I mean, if you haven't realized by now, a lot of my videos do have some sort of feminist or social justice-y message in them, even if it's more subtle in certain things than others, so I thought it was probably time to just do something a little more official with that, so I really hope you enjoyed, and um, if you want to share it with people, do that, I guess, and subscribe, even though I don't do serious poems every week, because I can't write that much poetry. I do make new videos every Monday.